Enric Bernard noticed a gap in the market. So he was observing kids and he realized that kids have a tendency to get their hands sticky when they're enjoying sweets. And in turn, their mothers get angry, their parents get angry because they had to now wash these sweets off their hands and everything. So he came up with an idea, a very simple but innovative idea, which is to put candy on a stick. This simple innovation not only solved the problem of the messy fingers, but also transformed the way that we all consume candy today. Now, this idea led to the birth of Chupa Chops, a brand that will become synonymous with almost everyone's childhood. Basically, a hygienic candy experience. Now, I want you to remember this part, that hygienic part, because it will come handy later on in this story. Even though the first Chupa Chops were sold from a small cart in Barcelona, the concept took off quickly and it will turn into what the world knew today. And I believe that they were done because of these three things. Bernard had to do three things to make sure that his product was known worldwide. The marketing magic and world domination for Chupa Chups can be attributed to three things. One, the name change and the iconic branding. Do you know that the original name for the candy was Goal, G-O-L, and this was inspired by the concept of scoring a goal in sports. So basically, if you put the candy in your mouth, you're scoring a goal in your mouth. However, this name did not resonate with the market at all. So in 1960, it was changed to just chops. So this stemmed from the Spanish verb chopper, I believe. I hope I've spelled that right. So that catchy jingle from the first radio advert, Chupa, Chupa L, Chupa Chops, led to the sweet, but became popularly known as Chupa Chops, which was officially adopted in 1961. So the iconic display of the logo, so the logo was designed by Salvador, and Salvador was like a famous artist during that time, and that iconic logo is the reason why the brand is so memorable and distinctive. The second thing will be celebrity endorsements. Chupa Chups gained massive international exposure by associating themselves with celebrities like Spice Girls and Madonna. Spice Girls from England, Madonna from America. So that helped push the brand in such a way that celebrities started holding just the, the, the Chupa Chups when they're dressed. It was like a fashion accessory. And then the final thing would be the global expansion. So Chupa Chups embarked on an expansion plan. They targeted international markets first. So they targeted Japan, Russia, and later on the United States, then Germany, then Italy, then China and Mexico. However, most of these markets that they targeted also export their products to other markets. So that created this domino effect where they were exporting these chupa chips to other markets. And before you know it, everywhere around the world, including Africa, chupa chips was there. However, all of this came to a halt when they did this marketing misstep. Chupa chips faced a marketing hiccup when their attempt to attract more customers and increase their market share, they launched a sugar-free lollipop. But that wasn't the issue. The issue wasn't the sugar-free lollipop itself. The issue was the launch campaign. Because in that campaign, they featured like a sugar-free lollipop, but the lollipop was on the floor with the ants around it. To them, the marketing messaging was clear. It's so sugar-free that ants ignore it. But to their customers, the messaging signaled something else. Firstly, why was it on the floor? Is that to say that no one wants it, so the kids open them, they don't want it, so they throw it on the floor? Secondly, isn't the whole brand's origin story about hygienic candy experience? So why was Chupa Chups on the floor? That was a massive backlash from them. People pushed back with that launch campaign. So in response to the backlash, they withdrew the campaign. They also issued an apology. Then they went back to the drawing board and came up with a marketing strategy. This new strategy, although without its questionable tactics, helped them rise back again. After the campaign controversy, Chupa Chups quickly realized that they needed to diversify their products if they still wanted to stay in business. Because if they were cancelled because of that ad, they would be done. So to avoid this, the company started making soda drinks. So they made these drinks to be inspired by their popular lollipop taste. 
They also called these sodas a sip of fun and they became very, very popular, especially among the young, young people. I remember seeing these um, sodas, these canned drinks in one of the off licenses. I was like, oh, Chupa Chups does drinks. I never realized that. But then at the same time, they also launched a collection of perfumes. Now, I don't know how I feel about that personally. Maybe it's because I don't like sweet perfumes, but I don't know about you. But the basic idea behind these perfumes was that they wanted them to smell like the lollipops. So they wanted a new way for people to experience them and also experience their flavor. So instead of eating it, you can spray it on yourself. And they have continued to innovate and adapt. They've continued to find ways to like engage with their audience. They engage with the market. Everything is changing. I can see that they are now on social media. They're also engaging influencers. Maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't, but they're doing this massive lollipops where they're giving it to influencers and YouTubers like Ryan and people are using that to review it. So they are finding ways to go viral. But something interesting happened recently. They went viral. Not that they came up with it themselves. I don't think so. But somebody came on to TikTok and said that apparently the way that we have been saying the name was wrong. And everybody kept saying, no, that's not the way we say the name. This is the way we say the name. And that caused like Chupa Chups to go viral again and people started remembering them. So this takes me to my question. How do you pronounce the name? Because I say Chupa Chups. How about you? What do you say? <laughs> 